Your Voice in My Head is not the book I set out to write. I set out to write a book about um, the psychiatrist who saved my life when I was 21. Um, I had turned up on his doorstep uh, having survived a suicide attempt and he changed my life and I got myself together and then he died young and very unexpectedly. Um, and so I was left with this man I'm so indebted to who was a part of my life for a decade um, who because of the nature of psychiatry I actually knew nothing about even though he knew everything about me so what I had meant to do was find out who he was um, and I guess maybe it should have been obvious to me that in the journey of finding out who he was I found out more about why I did what I did because I don't think I ever really knew um, so there's a lot there's a lot I wasn't expecting to write about it isn't at all the book that I had intended to write um, and I think that's how it should be I personally you know with any art form I, I feel quite resentful when I watch a film that the director clearly set out with this thesis and you know almost it just seems to me that that is like it may as well be a branch of accountancy you know one of the nicest things that's happened so far in the process of this book's publication is uh, after I read Paddy Smith's memoir which I really really was so taken with I happened to meet her and had the chance to tell her how much I loved it and I you know, said well I, you know, I'm also a Bloomsbury author and she said what's your book called and I said it's called Your Voice in My Head she said oh great album title so I was like oh that's exactly what I wanted is I think that um, I always come to song lyrics when I'm writing um, I never I mean I read novels all the time but I never I try not to read novels and keep them in my head when I'm working on my own stuff I always come back to my favourite lyricists and in the book I want the idea that you can interpret it the way you interpret song lyrics you know favorite song lyrics that mean the world to you and then mean a completely other thing to somebody else so I, also to me yes your voice in my head had sounded um musical and that works i get asked about dr r in the first draft of the book in every draft of the book until the last edit um i had his real name and so i'm just catching myself not to say it um, he, as I've said, he knew everything about me and I knew nothing about him even though I was so connected to him and he changed my life and saved my life that it was too painful to anonymise him in the process of actually writing it because I had so little to go on anyway that I don't think I would have been able to write it if he was Dr. Up. So I know what his name is. I wrote it with his name and took it out at the very, very last minute um, at the request of his widow, who's very supportive of the book, um, but uh, you know didn't want to bring attention to his children, who were going through their own grieving process. Um, that's much, much, much worse than mine. Uh, and uh, it was really, really. Oh, it was lovely to reach out to his other patients. Anyone who would respond to me, they all wanted to talk about him every si there was a um, after Dr. R's death there was a New York Times uh, obituary where you could leave on their website your own remembrance and every patient of his said he saved my life I said that um, heroin addicts said it, anorexics said it 9-11 firefighters who had survivor's guilt, it was just this incredible tapestry of people like a Robert Altman movie and everyone felt the same thing about him so they are so excited for the book and everyone wanted to talk about him and remember him and, and um, uh, you know, how do you talk to the dead? I think that so many cultures, in, in Los Angeles where I live, um, a really amazing festival is Day of the Dead, where uh, in Mexican culture there's one day of the year when like the membrane of the universe is thin enough that the dead can hear you if you really decorate their graves incredibly beautifully and bright and coloured and leave tributes and then that you're able to communicate with them on that one day and 
I think to some extent that's what this book is. I know he can't hear me and I know that the other uh, man in the book who was a bereavement um, can't hear me either, but I wanted to try and that's where the art is. 